Welcome back to the Cheshire Tea Party, everybody, YouTube. Uh, this is the two days after the uh, day after the Supreme Court decided that uh, national health care was legal. And um, we have uh, mobilized with very short notice. We've worked with some good people, uh, probably 50 or 60 people so far, probably a lot more to show up. I think it shows the heart of the people of the United States, Connecticut, um, to be um, opposed to this measure, measure which curtails our freedom uh, and has untold uh, shackles in our future. So we're going to defeat uh, the people that passed this. Um, I encourage everybody to come out. And if you can't come see us, uh, that this is going to be on the web. You know, you know this started with uh, me and some other guys standing here by ourselves. And um, it's, it's a great way to network. I highly encourage uh, local participation. Uh, it, uh, it really buoys the spirits and it uh, creates a network for action that's unparalleled. Um, long live the Republic. As somebody told me, you came all the way from New York State. That's correct. So this is like a... Because uh, they're, they're not doing squat in New York. Well, this is a multi-state rally then. Yes, it is. Stand up, step up, let your voice and vote be counted. Speak up, speak out, so our leaders understand. We're disgusted with the Senate and the House of Reprehensibles, and we're sick and tired of just sitting on our hands. We've written, called, and spoken to our representatives, because our government is of and for and by the people, us. Our elected officials don't rule us, though some think they do, and they get downright discourteous when we raise a fuss. Stand up, step up, let your voice and vote be counted. Speak Hi, up, my name's out. Tucker Deming, and I got an idea how you can keep your head in the game every week. In this region, we meet here in Cheshire Mondays, 5 to 6. We go to Southington on Tuesdays, 5 to 6, in front of the Starbucks, and on uh, Thursdays, we go to Meriden, and we stand at the uh, monuments on uh, the boulevard up there. So, just as a little community outreach, a little show the flag, show where you are, get involved. You can do that every week for one hour in your city of your choice, and you stay involved. Stay involved. Help other people maybe understand there's something different going on here. What's going on? And they might realize that their lives depend on, their freedoms depend. And, and just an aside here, is there a certain, uh, is there a certain candidate for U.S. Senate that lives within earshot of this very spot? <laughs> well, uh, yeah, Chris, Chris Dodd lives nearby here, and uh, Chris Murphy. Chris Murphy, excuse me. Well, well, what's, the, what's the difference? Right? Well, they're, they're all the same. Yeah, yeah, just a little less gray. So um, he is. Uh, uh, Chris Murphy is uh, running for Senate, and um, uh, I, I, I hope he uh, loses in a landslide. You know, he, he pushes through, and he personally told me that that. Uh, that uh, healthcare and the, and the people that are in the business um, are are making too much money, and I'm thinking, like, really, what we're about is saving lives and making life better. And he opposes that, so uh, uh, I, I'm confident the people in the, in the state will see through the uh, power grab that he represents and vote him out. Uh, keep him uh, keep him away from the Senate. Thanks. Bye, everybody. My country, but I fear my government. Indifferent to the blood we've shed and the treasure they have spent. Easy come, easy go, no tracking where it went. I love my country, but I fear my government. I love my country, but I fear my government.